I'm Dan Scanlon and I bought this Alfa Romeo Milano Verde in 1988, brand new, and it has been in my house, in my garage, and my day job car since day one. I've probably put about $25,000 in it to get it in the shape it's in right now, and when I got invited by Concord Lemon to bring it here, I said, heck yeah. I, I'm, I'm a car geek, that's why I bought an Alfa Romeo. But the bottom line is when somebody says they want your car at the Concord of Lemons, let's do it. Let's have some fun. Dave Kawa. This is my original 1978 Ford Pinto Cruiser wagon that I bought new when I was 21 years old. Okay, we uh, drive it everywhere, including uh, seven years ago we took it to Alaska, up the Alaska Highway, and then up the Fairbanks, and up the Dalton Highway, the Ice Road Truck Road, all the way to Dead Horse Prudhoe Bay, and uh, walked in. We walked in the Arctic Ocean that day. Trip there. Great trip. Hey guys, I'm Jeff Rowe, and this is my Booney Bug. It's a 1960 Volkswagen Combi chassis. So first thing you do is take a $100,000 bus, cut it on up, and then you build it yourself. This is the engine, which is the standard 1200. It was made to be a camper and a transporter in the back. Popular Mechanics was the magazine that you would have received in March, and you would have sent away for the plans for it. The detailed exactly how you do it, and how you send away your 1095, and then you build it yourself. I was lucky enough to find all the old fiberglass bags that the guy bought one at a time. There was like 120 of them in the boonie bug with the fiberglass, and he built it himself. Also used uh, some of the first Lexan ever made, which is a GE product, which those doors are made out of. So we carry chalk around with us, and we let the kids come around and draw on it everywhere we take it. It's running and driving. It's uh, a regular car for me. I just try to keep it out of the rain, especially today. If this car was also... One of the eight that are known to exist was in the movie Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you go around to the front, you can see we have a little uh, advertisement on it. This looks good. The QR code and all that. And you can see a video of us painting it as well, too. I have four or five Pintos already. And uh, this one was bought a couple of years ago. Put together for a Pinto stampede to Michigan. And... Uh, this year, the Pinto Stampede decided to come to Florida, and I was like, hey, I'm going to Florida from South Carolina. But a fun trip. I've had a blast. Uh, my name is Anna Fontana, and um, this is my 71 Chevelle Malibu. Uh, since the age of 11, I've wanted a uh, Chevelle in my life, and I got this car a lot sooner than I expected. Um, when I first got her, um, the original owner had her for about 20 years and was putting love into her, but wasn't able to do the time that uh, it took to really get her to the next level. So he trusted me with it and uh, sold it to me in August of last year. Um, so far, I've upgraded her um, carburetor, alternator, um, I've changed out, uh, I've cleaned up a lot of her wires, I did ceramic headers on her, um, new spark plug wires, did all custom work on those, 
um, and slowly but surely just continuing to add a little bit here and there. Eventually I like to put a, a manual transmission in. Um, she currently has a 388 stroker and uh, a three-speed automatic transmission. So I want to put a five-speed in to just give her a little extra oomph and a little more uh, connectability while I'm driving her. Um, but she is my baby and I am enjoying learning and uh, working on her uh, as I work through all the, the steps to get her to where I think she should be. An extremely rare vehicle. Thank for, God. Yeah, for a reason. Um, what is your name, sir? Jeffro Bodine. And what is your car? It's a 1960 Volkswagen bus turned into a custom boonie bug out of popular mechanics of March 1974. So what, what there was, remember those little ads in the back of popular mechanics that said, uh, buy plans to build a car or build a boat or something like that? Here's one of the magazines. And this was one of the plans you can buy. They sold tons of plans, but nobody ever built the cars, except for about six or seven idiots. They, they built, these, built these things out of plywood and stuff you get at the, at the hardware store. Looks that way. There's evidence of approximately four or five of them actually being built. And there's, uh, he has uh, examples of the original uh, materials that you would buy to, to uh, put this car together. There's maybe four or five of them in the world. There are two of them too many. that are roadworthy, and one of them is here today. And for that, you win our 2024 Concord de Limones, Florida, Worst of Show. Big round of applause. Well picked, well picked, sir. There you go. Thank you so much. I've always wanted this award, so this is the award to me. You need bigger goals. He said, I've always wanted this award. I said, you need bigger goals. You need to dream bigger, sir. I just want to go home. Yes, indeed. So once again, did you all have a good time? All right, we did too. We can't wait to do it again next year. Thank you so much for coming out. We'd like to thank Haggerty. We'd like to thank Classic Motorsports Magazine.